Hi, this is Memphis from TheHomesteadSurvival.com, and I'm going to let my husband John speak to you today about the Wise Way wood pellet stove. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a propane torch, and you'll insert it in the primary chamber, and you're going to let it run for about two minutes. That's to preheat and get a draft going. Um, Once that's been running for a couple of minutes, you'll see the temperature gauge come up. And then you can open your lever on your hopper, which is right over here in the front. Just turn this, loosen it up, and open this gate, and it will gravity feed the pellets down below, down to the chamber. And then, with the propane torch still running, for a couple of minutes, um, the pellets will start to start to burn, and you'll notice that your temperature gauge is gone is going up to about a couple hundred degrees. Um, then you can turn your propane torch off and put it off to the side, somewhere safe. Um, once it's burning, then you can check your secondary your secondary plate. This is where some of the pellets have fallen through that haven't quite burned. They get to burn again, and then when they're done, they go to the ashtray in the bottom. Okay, if you check your temperature gauge, once it's gotten to around 400 degrees, uh, you put this daisy cover, it's like a draft, like it's called a daisy. You insert that, then you come over to the front where your slide draft controls the temperature. When it's wide open like this, this is the low, actually the lowest setting. And you'll see that even at the lowest setting, we're running at about 500 degrees. If you need to increase your temperature, you just loosen the knob and adjust it wherever you want it. But if you go all the way down, that's wide open, and you'll see the temperature go up to around 700. And then on the back side is the hopper that you fill with uh, traditionally 40 pound bags of pellets. And um, on the lowest setting, the uh, a 40 pound bag of pellets will last approximately 30 hours. On the highest setting, um, it's approximately 10 to 12 hours. And it gets, it gets very hot in the front. As you can notice, the temperature's climbed about 600 right now, just in the short time I did this. It does have a heat shield around it, but it is very hot in the front, so you have to watch your kids, your pets. On the back side, it stays pretty cool. And that's about all there is to it. You should read your manual. And For a full review, written review, and lots and lots of pictures, go to thehomesteadsurvival.com. And uh, please join our email newsletter, which you can find at the right side of our website. And it will give you all the articles for one single day in a single email if you choose to. Join it subscribe and thank you once again this has been memphis and john from the homestead survival.com